What's good in the woods, everybody? Magnum here, and I went and I got the new reserve, Silver Ridge Peaks for Call of the Wild. Which means I've finally been able to hunt some pronghorn. There are other species that are going to make an appearance on this reserve, but pronghorn alone have me excited. I really wanted to see them in the Hunter Classic, but I don't guess that's going to happen. Nevertheless, they are in Call of the Wild, and that alone is a reason for me to play Call of the Wild. What I'm about to show you are going to be some highlights from my first day hunting on the new map, and I got myself a diamond pronghorn along with a couple of rare bison I think you're going to like. Thanks for tuning in today, and let's roll the clips. Alright, I've been pronghorn hunting about a couple hours now, and I've found what looks to be a diamond. Nah, that, that has to be a diamond. He's a five, and I mean, just look at those horns. I've killed a few decent golds, and he's definitely looking bigger than any of them. I'm going to ease my way towards him, and I've got the longbow with me right now. I'd like to try to take him out with that if possible. Uh, apparently, they're going to start moving now. I guess I can make a shot from here. Well, on second thought, maybe this isn't such a good idea. Ah, crap, get prone. Uh-oh. Okay, please don't run away. I'd appreciate it if you didn't run away. Please don't run away. Oh, there he goes. Alright, well, I've caught up with him. And he's right here in front of me. I'd say we're going to make this happen right now before he spooks again, because apparently everything's going to spook around me. Dropped him right there. Oh, I said the wrong thing. Drew him! <laughs> yeah, buddy. We got him. He's looking good. It looks like he's one of the variations with a darker coat. It's cool that how they've added a few different ones. And I was hoping I'd get a bigger version of the darker one, so works out we got a diamond here, I believe. I'm very confident this guy is going to be a diamond. Those horns wouldn't lie. And while we've got him dead right here, I'm going to take a few quick picks. They really did such a good job on these pronghorn models. They look so good. Lo and behold, he is a diamond, scoring at 100.9 with a double lung and heart shot. I could not be happier with my first diamond on this map being a pronghorn. That's awesome. Yeah, no doubt about it, he's certainly going in the lodge. I was hoping to get a diamond pronghorn, and only for it to happen within a couple hours. Really happy with this guy. Next goal is to try to get an albino. That's even a fur variation. I'm pretty sure it is. I know piebald is, but I, I have yet to see an albino be posted, so that's going to be a must for me. Speaking of rares, I got to watching this group of bison that were on the road and ended up seeing a whitish one. It might be an albino, but I see a touch of blonde, so maybe leucistic. I don't really see any pinkish from here either. And this is cool. We're right near the feed zone, and so I think things are going to work out nicely. We're going to try to get closer to her and take her with a bow. Alright, we're close now. I think she's going to stop right there. We got a pretty good opportunity here. We are a little far out, but this isn't exactly impossible. Drooler! Uh, she doesn't look too happy. <laughs> Man, that was cool. That second one brought her down, thankfully. She was pretty close to mowing me down there. I don't think she appreciated getting hit the first time too much. I've never gotten a rare bison in this game. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this. It is a leucistic. Good deal. Still a rare nevertheless, and... Hey, I couldn't be happier. First shot ended up hitting her in the left lung and liver and intestines, and the second actually hit her in the left lung, liver, and stomach. There you have it. That's my first rare bison, and I think I will mount her for sure. So I took a break for a couple hours and decided to come back out here to try to get some turkey. But I think I see what I believe to be a melanistic bison over there. Which would be insane considering the fact that I just got my first rare bison. He also doesn't look to be a bad one either. I believe he's melanistic just because he looks darker than any plains bison I've seen and from what I can tell there really isn't any brown on him.
I'm fairly certain that's a melanistic. Has to be. He looks black. I'm not complaining. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna move in closer and we're gonna bring out the longbow once again. He's by himself, so I won't have to worry about dodging any other bison. If I work my way up there nice and easy, I'm confident he'll stay broadside for us and give us a chance to bring him down nice and easy. I've been moving for a bit now and I'd say we're about 20 yards from him. I want to get as close as I possibly can so I can land an effective shot. And I think that's about to happen now. Alright, let's make this happen. Oh! Down he goes! <laughs> oh man. That's definitely a melanistic. He didn't exactly land in the best spot, otherwise I would snap a photo. It's not a huge deal though. Let's take a look at this guy. Melanistic, and not a bad one either, scoring at 175.5 with a double lung and heart shot at 20.3 yards. And this honestly just might be the coolest rare I've gotten. I say that because I've got one of these in the Hunter Classic, and that's probably my favorite rare in that game that I've gotten so far. This one is definitely bigger. I definitely don't mind getting another rare bison to put in the lodge, and this will definitely make a nice addition to what we've got so far. So let's head over to the lodge and see what we got. Alright, we have our melanistic bison here. And I put him here at the doorway next to my albino cape buffalo. I definitely like having him here. And that would be my second ever melanistic animal in this game. My first being the cougar that I got in Parquet, which will be in that room. But onto the mountain goat that I forgot to record. He's pretty decent. Got him right here. He's not a bad one, but sometime I'll try to work on getting a diamond. Onto the diamond pronghorn, and I've got him further down this way. I've got him mounted just above the door here. And that's subject to change, I might actually put him on a full body mount, but he looks very nice. Definitely one of my favorite trophies right now. I decided to stick the leucistic bison in this room where I don't really have anything yet. I might just end up dedicating this room to Rocky Mountain trophies. But yeah, this would be my first rare bison. A good looking rare indeed, but let's be honest, the melanistic one just blows this one out of the water. And that'll conclude this video. I've enjoyed my first day on Silver Ridge Peaks, and I'm happy that I've gotten to go after some pronghorn finally. It's been a blast, and it's given me a reason to play Call of the Wild again. I'll try my luck with some turkey next time I play, and I'll try to work on getting a nice Rocky Mountain Elk too. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment letting me know what you think, and feel free to join the community. Thanks for watching everybody, and until next time.